Hey, but what's up? Ultramag64 here. And today, guys, I bring you more of the My Little Pony game from Gameloft. Now, last week, an update actually happened to the game, the party update. And unfortunately, it came a little too late for me to cover it last week. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover it this week. Alrighty, so first off, we got Cheese Sandwich right here, being all awesome. Cheese Sandwich here. Equestria's Premier Pony Party Planner. Try saying that. I'm surprised I could. And I've got a doozy of a premiere party planned for Ponyville. There's a special guest and everything. Ooh, I hope it's Rara. I love me some Rara. I hear that if he has a good enough time, he'll even stay in Ponyville forever. So let's kick things off right by plucking down a dynamite party site. When you're building a party site, a few things are super important. Well, for starters, cheese, I'm not in Ponyville. I'm in the I'm in the Everfree Forest, but but we can have a party there, I guess. Just you know, stay away from the Timberwolves. They're not part of the Petting Zoo. Location, location. I'm surprised you didn't say location, location, location. But whatever. Good times, location, coolness, location, musical number, potential, and location. All right, let's focus on location first. Blot down the party site. Wherever you wanna. Okay. Well, hi there, Disney. I'm glad you. I'm glad you stopped by. Oh, hey! Finally, it shows how many ponies we actually have. So we have over 50 ponies out of the 220. But I mean, hey, it's it's it's, a, it's better than nothing. All right. So that's the first big thing. Is that now they have party events and raves, kind of um, social esque events that that we can partake in and enjoy. So we'll get to those in a sec. I just gotta gotta get my my Zakora all all situated. I gotta make sure she's all fiddly fine. Put some things in here just in case we need them. I'm gonna stop putting them up out front just because it's like we have already oh like 999 of most of the elements. We don't we're good on elements. All right, let's look at the elements or the darn it, events. All right, collect bits in the crystal mine mini game. Cool. I'm not gonna do that. Sure, I'm not. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and head to Ponyville and see what exactly we're gonna do. All righty, we're here in Ponyville. Cheesy cheese sandwich, sandwich of cheese. Let me just grab all my stuff first, and then we'll we'll plot down this party plot. What the heck are all these question marks going on here? We might have more than meets the eye. Let's poke, poke that. What is this? Ooh, we got, like, little keys. That's weird. I don't know what these are for. But I've got a whole bunch of them. I'm not sure what these are for just yet. Even I don't know. I know everything. So I'm all-knowing. The all-knowing Magnus. He knows not what these keys are for. But he's gonna find out! Oh, wait. This little... No, no. This little guy had a, had a problem. He's got over 600 of these things. Why the heck? What the heck are these? And how do I already have so many? I don't understand! Alright, but first up, before we get anything else done, um, I want to say thank you guys for adding me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to showcase everybody. So we got Shining Days here. I'm not going to make jokes because we don't have time because there's so much to do. Then we've got... Danielis Gustaka... Guska, 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 yeah, Guska. Cheese Star, relevant for the episode. King Pie. Almost thought that was Kingpin. I was like, oh snap, is Spider Man gonna swing through my window right now? Doctor Days, Vanilla Cake, Rosie Days, Magic Days, Little Daisy, Ultra Dot. Why the heck did I get? If there's an Ultra, why isn't my name Ultra Mag? That's just not fair. I got magic hills. This guy got Ultra Dot Dash. That's just too cool. It's too cool for school, man. He doesn't even need to be in school anymore. It's too cool for it. He's going to one of those private schools. That's where all the cool kids hang out. We got Coco C Trap. Lucky Cookie, I feel like we've done these before. Joe Cake. Emerald Pie. Daniela's... Wait, what? Wait, weren't you just in the... Whatever. 
we're going around in circles. It's like one of those old cartoons that had really bad assets and they just used the same backgrounds over and over again. Mrs. Days, that apple cookie. Why don't people make apple cookies? Like, seriously, we got raisin cookies, we got blueberry cookies, no apple cookies. What is wrong with the world? Everything's better with apples. We've got that, cloud pants, cocoa night, apple pie. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a minute, we got something normal? What? Am I in the Twilight Realm? Twilight Sparkle Realm. Randolph Days, Jet Knight, Peachy Cookie, Golden Pants. Again, very highly inefficient pants. That thing, what the heck is it with all these different languages I'm getting? Everybody from all over the world just be watching. Thank you guys. Happy Star, Speedy Pants, Coco Daisy, Little Star, Fancy Knight. Thank all of you guys for adding me. I will add you guys as soon as the episode's done. All right, and now we go to the invited players to say thank you for giving me gems so that way we can make even more pony decisions. I can't climb that. I guess I already climbed that. That's fiddly fine. He's there to claim that too. All right, thank you, Cherry Daisy. You're awesome. You're all awesome. All, every single one of you. All right, so let's go ahead and get over to this party planning thing. See what the heck we do. All right, let's place this party site down. We need a big open area. Let's go right here. Right here sounds good. Right here, right there. That's good. Look, this pony wants to know what the party's uh, about the party. Let's talk to her. Okay. These are my patented party keys. Go to the lottery and you will know, show you how they work. Okay, well, wait. Shouldn't we talk to... Okay, never mind. She's just doing a dance. Twilight, just do your dance. That's fine. All right. So now we got a lottery. Um, voila! Cheese sandwiches certified gamified a pile of party-rific supply chests. Okay. That's a mouthful. You can use these party keys to open them and get a bonanza of surprise party supplies. Once again, surprise I didn't mess that up. Sweet, I got balloons. You sure get the hang of this fast, pal? Your prize is in your inventory. Okay. See? Every time you win a decoration, my patented party o meter fills up with party points. These party o meter this party meter is shared by every pony, so every pony can fill it. All right. When the party o meter is full, the party site will be all built up and ready for action. Okay. You can get more party keys by removing obstacles or producing in shops. Okay. I've marked the shops with numbered of party keys they can produce. Okay. Um, now place your prize so you can keep opening supply chests. Okay. Um, we're just going to make this the, the party central right here. Right there. Cheese sandwiches, first rule of party planning. Make room for the dance floor. All right. We don't want ponies smacking into trees when they're trying to do the mambo. Let's make sure we got a nice open space. No! I want ponies to be horribly murdered. Okay, cool. So we got to get rid of that. Hey, look, more party keys. I wonder if we're supposed to have, like, this many keys. How many are we supposed to get rid of? I mean, we're getting rid of that so I can just make room for the party dance floor, but... Well, I'm removing clearable items. Yes, Shelly. I'm just gonna do it like the small ones that don't cost anything. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Done. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's try out... Oh, okay, so that's why we have so many. It costs so many to use it. Okay. Well, let's give it another go. Sweet, I got that. Yay! Let's try again. Sweet, I got a that thing. Yeah! Try again. Sweet, I got more. Yeah! Okay, let's go ahead and party path. Okay. Um, let's place it there. There. Sure, why not? Oh, you know what? Let's make... Hang on, hang on. Hang on a minute. 
Hang on a minute, I'm a dummy. Let's make it look awesome. What am I doing with my life? Obviously not making it look awesome. Okay, we're gonna move that over there. Cool, okay, hang on, hang on. I got this, I got this. I don't got this, but but we're gonna do it. How the heck do I only have 17? That doesn't make any sense, I had 20. I had 20 when we started. Whatever. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Gonna make it look awesome. And that goes there. Oops. Oh well. And uh, boop. Boop. Gonna make it look great. Make Ponyville look great again. That is my goal. Yeah, how many more do we have? I don't know, I'm just gonna keep adding. I'm just gonna keep adding more. Yeah. There we go. It looks good. I like it a lot. I don't like it at all. Alright, let's put this party street light over near the party district. I feel like this is like a red light district. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, let's just plop it down right there. Uh oh. We're losing battery. That's fine though. Put this yellow spotlight right there. Parties every day. Alright, so now what we need to do while we wait for everything else to finish up is, as you guys know, that was weird. Whoa, they came out like from the side. That was weird. Whatever. So, as you guys know, um, we actually have enough gems. We've got 240. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna finally get us a Shannon Ama. We're gonna finally do it. We're gonna get him and we're gonna love him forever. That's, that's more than three ever. And also, since, um, since we got a, uh, a new episode came out last week, and it was a Spike episode, and guess what? It's actually probably the best Spike episode I've seen in a long time. I mean, the next one that we had that really was a good Spike episode was, like, Dragon Quest. Um, in my opinion. Uh, and this episode, it, it brings out a lot more, um knowledge into the dragon universe like like we learn more about the mythology of, of, of how dragons work here they've got a dragon lord um and we also met a new uh a new po a new not pony um a new character for spike um and the ponies in general uh and what's really interesting about that and here's what i think might be happening um i think that because i i, I know like Hasbro has to know the movie's coming out soon. Like, they have to know that, like, like they're making the darn thing. So it's like, they have to have a plan on how, how it's going to connect to the show. What I think's going to happen, and this is only because Twilight said this one line that's like, oh, okay, something's going on. Um, she says that we may have a new powerful ally. And, I just completed the quest, and that makes me think, huh, what if the MLP movie that's coming out in theaters and stuff like that, it's going to be a big event. What could they do to really make it huge? What if the evil that is, like, rampaging through Equestria is so great and powerful that they have to not only get the Griffins to help, like, like we have to have the Earth Ponies, the Pegasi, the Unicorns, every city has to help, along with the Griffins and the Dragons to stop it. And what if we went a step further and said that we had to, that this threat threatened even different dimensions? And so we had to get Sunset Shimmer and her pony pals to help. Now, I'm not saying that they, you know, go into one area, you know, like, I'm not saying every pony has to go to a quest right now! But, like, I'm saying, like, like, for instance, look at the spirit bomb from Go, from, I must have Goku, gosh, um, from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, like, they have to, like, couldn't, form energy throughout the entire earth into my hands and, and all that. What if it's something similar? Um, now I know that's a bit of a stretch and I'll, even I'll admit it sounds a little bit like, I don't know if, I, I don't know if that's, that's how that's gonna work exactly. That doesn't seem too, too keen. But I'm just saying it's a thought that might happen. Um, yeah, I mean, it's possible, but I don't know, I don't know. Um, we also got a, a very interesting, um, 
character in uh the print the, the new dragon lord whose name I've forgotten. What was her name? Ember? Ember, yeah, I think it was Ember. Um And she was a very, very awesome dragon. I really liked her. I liked her character design. I liked how um I mean I mean granted the episode itself felt like it's been done before. We kind of it was predictable where it was gonna go. Um, from the start, I was like, oh, okay, we're having one of these. But, what's really interesting and really good for Spike is that he decides to stay. Like, he, he's like, you know, no, I don't have to do, I don't have to worry about this. This is not my issue. I'm not going to be Dragon Lord. I don't want to be Dragon Lord. I'm going to go home. And then he's like, Garble and, and a bunch of the other dragons are like, no, nah, man, we're going to burn Ponyville to the ground and take all their pillows. Which, that's a ni ni nice thing to do. You know, you shouldn't take pillows. Why are you taking pillows, man? That's not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, we already welcomed Princess Cadence. Alright, I got it. Seriously, though, I get why the Queen of the Chains wanted to be with you. But how did you get someone as amazing as Cadence to marry you? Yeah, Shining! How'd you do that? Huh? Hmm? How'd you do that? It's not like a comic book told you or anything. No, not like that happened. I told her she wouldn't just be gaining a husband, she'd be gaining a yeah, sister. Yeah, okay, we already saw this in the, in the show. Okay, what else is there? Oh no, I almost forgot the wedding cake. I better hurry. I'm gonna go get wedding cakes. Okay, let's go buy a wedding cake. How much? Ah, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, we're gonna have to... I'm gonna have to hold off on the, that wedding cake. I'll get it later. I'll get it later. So I wanna, I wanna recoup my losses. But, um... Yeah, Amber was just a... A very, like, um... Uh, not Ember, Ember, I was talking about, uh, Spike. So, like, when, when they say that, you know, they're gonna burn Ponyville to the ground, Spike's like, nah, we, I, I can't. Like, I can't leave. Because if I leave, then one of these other dragons are gonna get it. Um, and I, I can't let that happen, because that'll endanger Ponyville and all of Equestria. And that's not cool. And, like, that speaks volumes to Spike's character. Especially since he's a dragon. Dragons are... Like, it's in their nature to be selfish and greedy. Spike could just be like, nah, I'm gonna look out for number one. I don't care. You know, but he's not. He's not. He's like, nah, this is bad. I need to step up and, and do this thing. You know, not for me. I don't want to be Dragon Lord. But if I have to be Dragon Lord to save Ponyville, then that's what's got to be done. And that speaks volumes to Spike. Like, that's like, Spike, dude, bro. When'd you get older? <laughs> When do you get responsible? That's great. That's just fantastic to see from him. Um, and hopefully we we get more. Like I feel like that lesson might have been you know brought back from you know Princess Spike when he was being stupid and horrible. But I do feel like he is very like he's he's getting older and growing up, and that's great. You know we already see the CMC getting you know older and. and Becoming more grown up, and it's like it's good to see Spike getting getting the same treatment, especially since he apparently doesn't age unless he gets greedy, which we still need to address that. But uh, regardless, I'm, I'm just glad to see that Spike finally has a good episode under his belt. Um, regardless of of how the story went, the characters, in my opinion, are what made this episode shine. Um, the, 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 de the development of, of a character who's, you know, constantly not gotten the best of episodes and has a track record for, for not exactly getting good episodes under his belt. It's good to see finally he gets his time to shine. And, and hopefully we see more. I'm hoping that we see more good Spike episodes. And I'm hoping that one day we'll get like a very... Like, like, he'll be a, a character that is loved by the fandom. I mean, granted, Spike's not, like, you know, oh man, worst character ever, I can't believe this guy, gosh darn it. Um, you know, but, but he isn't exactly the strongest character. And also, speaking of fan favorites, good gravy, Ember went, like, like, she blew up in the fandom. Like, I get we don't have many dragons to really, like, like, draw or anything, but good gravy, the amount of fan art that... Dragon has gotten now is insane. I can't go five minutes without seeing an Ember post somewhere, which is still great. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm happy that you know the fans like her. Um, 
It's just like, we have a whole bunch of other dragons too, guys. They came from the comic books. <laughs> Alright, so, what, how are we doing that? How are we doing that? I was, I'm curious. Oh. We didn't do very good, apparently. I want that mar- though. I want that marble. I want marble pie. Give me marble. Darn it. Just want marble in my life. So yeah, that was last week's episode, and it was pretty good. I gotta be honest, though, like, a lot of people- And I, I know I'm not, like, the only person who thinks this, but I, I feel bad for thinking it. Um, this season in general has not exactly been off to a good start. Um, I'm not saying I don't enjoy the episodes, it's just they're not very good. Now granted, um, I don't mean that like as a blanket statement, I'm not saying the season's bad. I'm just saying like a couple of the episodes just haven't been up to snuff. Um, now I know a lot of the senior writing staff has gone and, and moved on, uh, which is, which is bad, which is, you know, sad, but, um, doesn't mean that good writers can't be, you know, gotten, um, from that. You know, we don't have to have the same writing staff for forever. I mean, that'd be just insane, you know? Um, you can't expect that. But it's just, it's, it's just, I don't know, I don't know. Like, like the gift for Mod Pie was very, like, it, it, that plot has been done a million times. And now that, I mean, Mod's great. I love Mod. I love Mod. But she's also in a lot of things. Like, we've had three episodes of her, and we haven't had any development for um, Limestone Pie in particular. But, like... Marble or limestone, we have had no development for them. It's like Mod, we we know what Mod is. She's you know this very like, hi, how are you? Um, character and and she likes rocks. That's fine. But let's get development for for the other characters as well, like other Pie Sisters. But I, I mean I, we just didn't get that. Now granted the 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 Cutie Mark Crusaders episode was great. It was great. I mean I, I like that episode. But I'm I'm just I'm just curious to see where the where the season goes. I'm hoping that it it gets even better, you know, from here. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm Ultramag64. Remember, don't feel those Paris rights. And as always, happy gaming. I'll check you guys on the flip side. If you want to add me on Game Love's cool friendship thing, then my code is 0145. That's 0145. The reason I'm wrapping this up so quick is because my tablet probably is going to die. Um but anyway, guys, if you want to check out the Milo Pointing game from Gameloft, then there are links in the description down below for the iOS, Android, and Amazon versions. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye bye